Hello guys, today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Wolf Cybertron Trilogy, Netflix original series, Decepticon, Megatron, or Battlefield Megatron, from you know the new Netflix series that's coming out on Netflix in June. And I've already taken a look at the Hot Links figure. And I picked that figure up a couple days ago and I've already reviewed it. And I picked this figure up today. And th this is a really good Megatron, just like the other Megatrons. I, I can't decide which one's the best, but this one's definitely going to make sure. But before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the box. So here's the box. It, the same um, like box as um, Hot Link, so same white instead of the black we used to have on Siege. But you can see the new picture, the new picture of Make sure on the side, a nice separate symbol with a lot symbol at the top. Transform was more than meets the eye at the top, and you know, favorite part on the siege, and still my favorite part on the Netflix boxes as well. Instead of siege, it now white Netflix because <laughs> it's you know, the Netflix figures. You can also take a look at the back with the Megatron and his um, Micromasters, or not Micro, um, I can't remember, Weaponizers, or Weapon Masters. Um, Call them again, target monsters. Well, that's what you call them in weaponizer. I can't remember the the weapon, weapon monsters, something like that. Or, I can't remember the names, but yeah. So pinpoint to lionizer. We already have a lionizer from the first wave, but we have like a generation one card, more card version of him. So yes, yeah, so that's basically everything from the box, and that's the box away. And now let's take a look at the new. Megatron and the, you know, the Battle Monsters, yeah, Battle Monsters, that's the name. Yes, like, the new figures do look really, really good and they're very nice, in my opinion. They do work very well, so yes, like, all the, the full set works nice. The Mike Masters, the Battle Monsters, I mean, they're okay. I prefer Lionizer, but yeah, it's first to look at them. Battle Masters. So here we have is Lionizer. Basically same one as the original one we got and this is Pinpointer. Just like I think it's in Fire Drive, so I can't remember his name. The base is the same like mode. And the same like mode. And they are Autobots, so we get two Autobots with a Megatron. They're basically captive ver versions, so they're basically they've been captured by Megatron and probably been like forced to do stuff, maybe like brainwashed. <laughs> Like something like that, but also comes with the blast effect. So, if you get the slashing effect and the two blaster effects which you get from the first, like the battle monsters you got at the beginning of Siege, basically, because you got like this, like black lionizer. We got like not, it's not based, this is based on one that's based on generation one colors of lionizer. So, yeah, and to be honest, I do like the new colors of lionizer. Definitely works for me. I like the orange and does work with like this. Does it work with grapple? Yeah, I have grapple right next to me for my self rise. That works, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, look. And also, I also have my wheel jack with me as well. Ah, damn it. Um, let me just. And this, I just dropped something. So we just put the. And I tried this earlier with like put the sword on Will Jack, it actually works with him for me. So you can make him carry the sword. And that, in my opinion, that does work. That looks nice. And Pinpointer, we can do the same thing with Will Jack. And you can hold it. That looks nice. That looks very nice. Oh, and then the weapon, the you know, blaster effects, they come off really easily on these two. Oh, not not Lionizer, but. This pinpointer's blaster effects come off way too easily, in my opinion. And yeah, first transform pinpointer. Out of the two pinpointers, the weakest because of the color, in my opinion. Like he needs a little bit more paint on. It has like black and red plastic with like silver paint on his head. Does work, but problem with it, this bit just keeps coming off. But you can fix that. You can put something on there which will fix it maybe. But it does work. It does. It is nice to have. It does work for me. Just needs a little bit more paint and the blaster effects. They're just normal blaster effects. And yep. And the lion lionizer. He's definitely my favorite one. You can see the 
translucent sword there with the, with the paint. So basically, translucent plastic and as well, give this figure. He does have painted eyes this time. Well, all versions of this figure have painted eyes, so there's like three of this figure. This lionizer, the vision lionizer that we got from Siege. And I can't remember the other guy's name, but yes. But I do like the, I, the silver works much more better than the paint that we got from other lionizers. You can see every single detail in this one. And also you can put that up so he's running at you, shooting at you. So, does that work? No, it doesn't work. But yeah, that would be called the work and the blaster effect. So that's that. For the, mic, for the Battle Masters, let's take a look at the main event. Megatron himself. And he... The same tank mode as the other four next ones I've taken a look at, but I have to say, this looks nice. It's bas basically it's the same next one we saw in the trailer, basically, and it, it, it just looks nice. I really like the faded like grey and silver. See all the faded black on him. It works really nice. Painted yellow. There, does work. It's like a faded version of the Megatron figures that we got from Siege. But it works really well. It's it's so nice. It really does. So can he rotate his turn, which does go all the way around. And he does roll not that much. If you want to scratch your surface, then you might more means you can scratch your surface. But yeah, the tank mode does work. I do like the colouring a lot. This definitely does work. You can see the faded black and grey just makes the tank more, you know, evil <laughs> and more beaten up, which on Cybertron, most of the characters on Cybertron are more beaten up than, you know, clean and not, you know, nearly destroyed. You can see that like this Megatron has been through a war and in my opinion that does make this figure and mode look really nice. And I do like the mode, the Megatron mode for Siege is very nice. And the tank mode just looks really nice. So transformation, take this out, and then this becomes the sword. As we all know, but the sword does look nice. I think I prefer maybe I don't know. Like I do like the swords from other ones. I think my favorite one might be the animated one that we got on the 25th anniversary. Maybe this one. Open that up, and then you just that. Got like four of this fig of this mold, and we're actually going to get a fifth one in Earthrise, a more Earth style version of him with a new head sculpt and new weapons. I don't, I don't know if he comes with the same um, like cannon or same you know gun, but definitely a different sword. Which the sword on the new one looks really weird. It's not my favorite on the new Earthrise which figure that's going to come out. I think in October, September. I know that um, Wave 2 is coming out in July or June, so next month or and I pre-ordered them so I'm going to get them when they come in stock in the UK. Of course, but I haven't pre-ordered Scorpnock yet, I haven't reviewed any of my Titans or even my Jetfire, <laughs> but I, I don't know if I can even review them on this table, it's basically a new table. That my old table I used to be on decided to break, so I'd buy a new one. Transformation's definitely easy in my opinion. It's one of the easiest transformations we've got from um, Siege. But in my opinion, it does work for a Megatron, and it's really nice for a Megatron. I wouldn't mind if they did this for a different character. If I did this mode for a different character, because that would be cool. And Megatron. And you can either make him hold your sword. Like that, that looks cool. Or you can make him hold it here. But I personally like all my Megatrons to put it on the back like that. That works for me. And let's take a look at the figure. And in my opinion, it does look really nice. And actually, let's take a look at the new blast or the same like cannon. And it has a new paint job. So you can see it has like this faded. um Grey here, which actually does make it look nice, and it's the same cannon, so it's with a new, a new nicer, or newer paint job. It's like the whole figure has a new paint job, and you can also see the chest has a new, has a Decepticon symbol 
faded but it does make this figure look really nice and it shows that it's been in like a really long war they have like scratch marks all over because of their scratch marks and that faded grey silver does work really nice the riff about this figure is that bit there the only thing I don't like about the figure is that bit there but you can see just the faded grey to silver makes this just works it just really does see the faded right there same colour scheme all over except that bit it's just the same you know how like a normal siege figures that's this bit that bit see the faded paint jobs all over but in my opinion it does work it does look nice and it does remind me of the trailer and I do like the trailer I really do it works for me and um, we're looking so forward to the new series that's coming on Netflix so articulation his head's on a ball joint so not all the way around but can look up and down and can do that arm can go all the way around and can do that and also has possibility there as well arm can go all the way around can kick, do that and that uh, and has arm or hand articulation does have torso doesn't have kick back doesn't have kick front but does also have this this bit that's for the transformation so you can also do poses like what can you even, yeah you can do that <laughs> i can't really pose like that because i don't know and then also no can hills can go like that and and then you can put that in and out but there's really no point because it needs that and yes the articulation same thing on all the megatrons same articulation but i do like this megatron it looks more like definitely this megatron looks more for collector than a um than just for, than a kid and the price for it definitely makes sense for basically it's definitely a collector's item out of all the megatrons this is probably the most expensive version that you can buy right now like yeah, i have like all <laughs> four of them um yeah this is definitely most expensive and to be honest with the netflix line is actually not that cheap like the voyager classes are at least three pounds themselves the luxes are like four pounds more expensive than the normal price and then i think the actual ultra magnus is the same price of the commander classes but with more faded paint job but i do prefer the voyager classes like they're my favorite out of the line so far i haven't picked up any of the luxes yet um have ordered the Mirage figure, have ordered the other, the other four. I might order a scrap face, only if I can see him in stock somewhere, because I do want to get the scrap face for my um, reflectors, because I have all of, like all six of them, and that's the only one I, that, that I don't have, and I do want to get a figure. And also, I forgot, you can actually um, put the target, the Battle Masters, you can make make sure and hold them if you wanted to. I think. I think um, Hot Link looks better when he holds his master, his battle masters because let's just say that does look better and it, and it did look cool him holding those two battle masters so you can take him with a sword in this hand and oh crap the bit just comes up just took that there and then also transform the <laughs> The Mac Master's okay with the, the Voyager classes, but I just uh, my favorite part of the like the like the set is the Voyager class figures. Like Megatron is definitely very nice. I like the paintwork. Like each Megatron has a new paintwork, a new paint job. They don't like keep the same paint job and just re release it again. Like in Cyberverse, once like they did this two pack of Starscream Optimus Prime. Oh, I don't like the Cyber Cyberverse figures. They're not for me. Only figures I pick up is. The bomb, the recent luxes you can get from Cyberverse, which has a biddable figure of, um, what's his name called again? Um, Mac Adams. That looks cool. So there's at least eight of them. But they they do look cool in my opinion. They have, I watched like reviews of them, and the transformations do look easy and nice. But I would prefer picking up the. Siege figures and all the like studio series figures and all the figures that are linked to generations basically or like all the more adult T figures but you can see it does look cool holding his um battle masters and they are autobots not decepticons like hot link like he has but in my opinion they do look cool the effects do help my opinion 
I do like Mig, you can have nice poses, so I have a Prime with me, so we'll just get a Fast Prime, that looks cool, and yeah, and also let's quickly just do a comparison with one of the Megatrons, let's get the original one, so the original Megatron, you can see the comparison right there, and they do look cool together in my opinion. See they're different paint jobs, same mode, but I think he that new one has a in my opinion has a nicer paint job. The original Megatron has the weakest style of the paint jobs. But like I think the new one tops definitely the original. I really do like that faded Decepticon symbol on the new Megatron. They have the same head scope, except the you know the G two one that has like a different head scope to all of them. But yeah. Like this Megatron does, in my opinion, well fit. The price is okay, in my opinion. I'd rather prefer it if it was thirty pounds, but I do like the figure. It definitely does work. It's definitely a Megatron to pick up. If you already have at least like the other Megatrons, or you have one, you don't, you don't, you don't have to pick this one up. But if you like Megatron, you like Generation One Megatron, and you like, and if you like the Megatron in the um, new series, then you probably want to pick this one up. And if you're a collector, this is definitely a nice one to pick up because it definitely does, in my opinion, look cooler than the original. And the ones to pick up if you're a collector is definitely the Zero Selects, the um, animated one, and this one, and also the original because the original is still good. But yeah, this I do like this figure. I think the price is okay for it, but I would have paid it a little bit more less because of. It's the same mode, and it's not. It's just this, there's new paint job and the ma the battle masters that's literally with this figure. But yeah, I would have wanted to pay a little bit less. But it's not really still a good figure, and a Megatron to buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and hope, and also you. If I get more subscribers, I might be doing like if I get up to 50 subscribers or 20, I will be doing a um very big video, like uh, maybe big, I don't know, but I will do a big video, and I'll try and do one. I don't know what I'll do, but yes, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.